At this very moment, scientists are getting ready to explore the Earth's deepest layers, where temperatures are insanely high and the pressure is crushing. It might sound like a plot from Journey to the Center of the Earth, but it's for real. By 2026, the Krafla Magma Testbed Project plans to drill into an active volcano in Iceland. Their goal is to search for magma, yep, that boiling molten rock that we often associate with destruction. It is a high-risk mission and a huge technical challenge, but the payoff can transform our future. This isn't our first attempt to journey to the center of the Earth. Back in 1959, Hawaii witnessed a breathtaking spectacle as red-hot lava violently erupted from 400-foot Kilauea Iki Crater. Over the next five weeks, lava fountains erupted in 17 major bursts, with the tallest reaching a record 1,900 feet. This spectacular and terrifying event left behind a glowing lava lake in the crater. A few months after the eruption, the lava began cooling and forming crusts. That was a perfect chance for scientists to drill into that lake, see what was going on beneath it, and collect data about the magma reservoir. Over the next two decades, they kept coming back, digging a little deeper each time. By 1979, they managed to get 173 feet down. Up to that point, it was the closest we had ever come to an actual magma chamber. And by that, I mean the underground pool where magma sits before eventually rising to the surface and causing a volcanic eruption. Decades later, the dream of reaching magma finally became a reality. We are now in Iceland in the year 2009. The Iceland Deep Drilling Project has just kicked off. Their goal is to transform the Earth's inner heat into clean energy for everyday needs, such as heating homes and supplying hot water for baths. You see, using heat from the Earth's interior to make energy isn't new, but it usually comes from hot water underground, not directly from a freaking scorching magma chamber. That's why the Iceland Deep Drilling Project was such a big deal. Magma could be a clean, renewable power source. And since it's hotter than the geothermal energy we normally use, it could generate a lot more power. Iceland is a natural choice for this kind of project. Known as the land of fire and ice, this country is home to some of the most active volcanoes on the planet. One of the most popular ones is Krafla, a volcanic caldera of about 6 miles in diameter, located north of the island. So, the initial plan of the Iceland Deep Drilling Project was to go there and excavate 13,000 feet deep. But something unexpected happened. When they were only 6,900 feet down, the drill hit magma. Wow! On one hand, it was exciting because, well, we finally found it. And just like that, Krafla became the first place in the world where we know exactly where magma is. But on the other hand, their equipment wasn't prepared or built for it, and the molten rock basically corroded their infrastructure, bringing the project to an end. Instead of being a failure, this accidental discovery gave us a ton of valuable data. We realized that, with the right equipment, drilling in such extreme heat is definitely possible. Scientists found that these underground molten pools can in fact produce a significant amount of geothermal energy. And most importantly, we learned exactly where the magma was. That brings us to the current Krafla Magma Testbed Project. This scientific program aims to create the world's first magma center. The idea is to set up a base where scientists can safely work with magma and have all the necessary infrastructure to run experiments on volcanic risks and geothermal energy. So that's like the basic idea. But their real plan is to return to Krafla, drill back into it, and create a gateway to the magma chamber. The goal is to understand its potential for generating energy, study its properties, and see if we can use it safely and efficiently. If they pull this off, it could provide a nearly endless source of geothermal energy for Iceland's homes and buildings. Even though magma is incredibly hot, reaching over 2,000 degrees Fahrenheit, 
Experts say it is safe to take energy from it and believe the process won't trigger another volcanic eruption in the country. They're so sure about this, partly thanks to the Iceland deep drilling project. But this whole process isn't like drilling for oil or gas. It's way more challenging and risky. Magma is not just extremely hot, it's molten rock, which can wreck equipment and pose serious safety issues. Right now, the Krafla Magma testbed project is in its early stages. Scientists and engineers are working hard to develop the tech needed to drill into magma safely. They're testing new drilling techniques, creating heat-resistant materials, and running simulations to figure out what happens when you actually drill into a magma chamber. They hope that by 2026, they will be ready for the next step, which means going back to Krafla and drilling all the way down towards the magma chamber. It might take two months to reach it. Their plan is to drill a single hole that will go right into the magma body and hopefully keep the equipment running there for many years. If they succeed, scientists also plan to add special sensors down there to measure and monitor pressure. This could help predict eruptions better and prevent disasters, like what happened with Mount St. Helens in the United States. In 1980, this volcano erupted, causing massive destruction and claiming over 50 lives. The eruption was so intense that it completely blacked out sunlight in Spokane, Washington, which is about 250 miles away. While that sounds terrifying, it's nothing compared to a super eruption, like the one that happened over 70,000 years ago at Toba Volcano in Indonesia. This disaster was about a thousand times more powerful than Mount St. Helens. Toba is just one of the 20 supervolcanoes on Earth. A supervolcano is what people call a volcano that can produce an eruption of magnitude 8. These eruptions, known as super eruptions, are the largest and most explosive ones. They could have global consequences by affecting the climate and causing widespread destruction. For example, if Yellowstone had a super eruption today, the surrounding states of Wyoming, Idaho, and Montana would be directly affected. They could be hit by hot avalanches of volcanic ash, gases, and rocks that might reach temperatures of up to 932 degrees Fahrenheit and speeds of over 180 miles per hour. This nightmarish scenario is a real possibility, but predicting when it might happen is almost impossible. Volcanoes don't follow a precise schedule, so it is hard to predict when a supervolcano will erupt next. That is also why the Krafla magma testbed is so crucial. By examining a volcano's activity from within, scientists could potentially predict eruptions with much more accuracy. As you might have guessed, drilling into magma is definitely uncharted territory, but the potential benefits are huge. Besides providing a clean energy source and making people who live near volcanoes feel safer, this project might also help us learn more about what is beyond Earth. Yep, it could lead us to breakthroughs in space exploration, helping us understand how other rocky planets and moons formed their crust, just like Jupiter's moon Io, which is the most volcanically active world in our solar system. In the end, the Krafla Magma Testbed project is more than just an experiment. It is a bold vision for the future of energy. It's about pushing the boundaries of science and engineering, taking risks, and dreaming big. So we should definitely keep an eye on Krafla, because this adventure into the fiery depths of our planet could end up changing our future. That's it for today. So hey, if you pacified your curiosity, then give the video a like and share it with your friends. Or if you want more, just click on these videos and stay on the bright side.